was good. Got a great show in store for you today. Impromptu. Wasn't really on the schedule, but I wanted to do something nice for my subscribers. What's going on? Big announcement tomorrow. Be sure to tune in at... Time do I got this joint on for? 9.30, I think, or 9.25, somewhere in the early 9 o'clock hour. A huge, huge announcement. You don't want to miss it. It'll be live. Um... Don't want to talk too much because I'll be talking tomorrow. And so uh, today I'll be talking about how to know when to immediately, I'm talking about immediately, cut a woman off. Ten things all attention. <laughs> you too, chill. Uh, ten things all women that love attention do and it's time to get rid of them if they do these things. I want to protect you men, especially in a world... Um, that's just super busy, materialistic. Um, it seems so many people are confused. They have no self-identity. And so I want to help you form that. And so um, I always say that a woman, a woman is going to do one of two things. She's either going to be a tremendous asset or the worst thing that ever happened to you. I want to repeat that one more time. A woman is going to be one of two things in a man's life. A tremendous asset. And likewise, we will be one to her. Or she'll be uh, <laughs> the worst thing that ever happened to you. And it may take you years uh, to recover from dealing with her. And so this broadcast is going to help you eliminate that possibility if you heed the message so shout out to all the members shout out to uh all the moderators that are here. i don't have a tremendous amount of moderators i don't um but who i do got that's all i need <laughs> so shout out to uh sno working from work shout out to her thank you so much baby girl game thief surveillance is uh is a mod now as well as a member and my guy the general Uncle Gun's in the building. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, very comfortable hoodie. I uh, like this one a lot. Let me welcome a few of you. We've got 83 people watching. Jason Ho, what's good? Mr. Mabane, I see you. Good to have you back. Come on through, say hello. Iceberg. What's good, man? Robert. He says, you cut a woman off when she starts playing games. That's right. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. Soul Sister. What's good? Good to have you. Ladies, come forth. Don't be afraid. Agent Smith. Coach Yale back with another gem for all the players and the ballers. <laughs> that's right. Champion game ready. Thank you, man. Zero likes. Good to see you. I uh, Immutable Bones, respect to the champ. Thank you so much, man. Good to have you. Uh, Cross Arts again, a newer name. Don't see that one quite often. This will not be one extravagant broadcast, uh, but I can't help but feel every episode is one equivalent to the value of a million dollars. Damn, you ain't joking, man. Shit, I'm 60 million deep right now. Cash. Fluid, let's go, man. I agree with you. <laughs> God bless, bro. Only me. Hi, coach. I want to see the socks on your feet. I beg you, master. Shit. <laughs> you, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Chill. You too, chill. Uh, Mr. Joseph, what's good, man? Hope you've been well. Coach this guy before. $5. I'm glad to catch another live stream. It's time to let her go. Of course, salute to the champion, to the grand champion. Yo, thank you for the $4 sticker, man. I might be doing some Spanish accents today. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Jamie Woods. You know Coach EO got game when he is matching his outfits with the backgrounds. 
Oh, yeah. We've been matching since day one. I came out the JJ trying to match. I was like, yo, don't put that gown on me, man. <laughs> don't put that. Hey, don't let that doctor put that gown on me, man. This shit ain't right. <laughs> hey, appreciate it, man. Manuel Hernandez, any po any possibility to call? Maybe. Maybe. It'll be a joint uh, video call in. Yes. We might do that. Why not? We may. We may do that. Get them likes up. You know, I'll stop the show. Shout out O'Shea Duke Jackson. I will I will stop the show. Uh, e. Meester. E. Meester. Coach EO, you the man. Appreciate you, man. Trey Dub, where you been, bro? Good to see you. Always appreciate you in the comment section. Aaron Taylor, learning. Good, man. Better learn. This life will eat you up. Um, Brian, is that wifey? Wiley. What's going on, man? Let the sermon begin. We will. Yeah, let's get it going. Okay. Now, before we get into the show, I have a joke. I have a very good joke for the fellas. Misog misogynistic for sure. <laughs> but in a playful way. But in a playful way. So I'm going to read you guys a joke. Okay, you ready? One of my good brothers sent me this today good friend of mine and i couldn't help but laugh and i said let me share it with the homeboys let's go oh damn i can't read the top of the damn thing hold on hold on hold on hold on a second there's a there's a uh hang on hang on hang on hang on don't read it don't read let me read the joke <laughs> let me let me read it to you what the fuck? Oh, shit. Hold on. It's, it's, it's being covered up. Hang on. All right, here we go, man. A woman goes to the doctor about her husband's temper. Doc, what seems to be the problem? Woman says, doctor, I don't know what to do. Every day, my husband seems to lose his temper for no apparent reason. It scares me. Doc says, I have a cure for that. When your husband is getting angry... Take a glass of water and start swishing it in your mouth. Don't swallow it until he either leaves the room or calms down. Two weeks later, the woman comes back to the doctor looking fresh and reborn. Woman, doc, that was brilliant. That was a brilliant idea. Every time my husband started losing it, I swished with water. I swished and swished and he calmed right down. How does a glass of water do that? Doctor, the water itself does nothing. It keeps your mouth shut. That's the trick. <laughs> oh, shit. Even the doctor put her on game. Shut your mouth, bitch. <laughs> shut your mouth. That is one thing. If women could just, man, your job isn't that hard, man. Just sometimes just shut up, man. You ain't saying that much anyway. I mean, you are, you know, if you're with the right man, you're, we bring the best out in you. But there's a time just, you really need that last word in it. <laughs> Switch that water, baby girl. No, I thought I would put a, it is corny. It is corny. It is. It's corny as fuck. It's like a white boy joke. You know, the white, the white guys that are watching are going to steal that shit and go tell everybody at the office, hey, guys, I got a joke for you. Looking around and shit. Hold on. Can't say this out loud. Might get canceled. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, let's move on. Raphael, thank you for the $10 uh, super sticker, man. We really do appreciate you. We really do appreciate you. You know, like that white dude looking around and shit? Like, hold on. <laughs> he look around. Guys, I got a joke for you. He presents it like all in a white boy way and shit. <laughs> and hey, shout out to the white people. I'm fucking around, man. Okay, let's get into the show. Super chill today, man. Let's start with slide number one. I have a very important question. I need crowd participation. Do you enjoy wasting your time? Let me know. I, I have to start with this. Do you enjoy wasting your time? Now, if you pay close attention to your habits and how often you're on that phone, 
Um, <laughs> scrolling away, scrolling away. Now, you probably don't mind wasting your time, but it's a question I want you to answer for me. Do you... Brian said he don't. Okay, hold up. Let me, let me just read this again. I, honesty, do you enjoy wasting your time? Okay. And, and, and Brian says, okay. No, I don't. Good. This lady says heart. I, I guess she loves it. <laughs> Natalie. This gentleman says, sometimes, sometimes I don't mind it, you know. Sometimes I grab me a ticate and chill, bro. Sometimes you got to take it easy, bro. Not take life too serious. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I grab a do dos equis and shit. Tequila. And I chill, bro. Shit, y'all going to go crazy. Y'all going to go crazy working your ass off, bro. Y'all gonna go crazy working your ass off trying to get nowhere, bro. You do all this shit for people. You do all this shit you do for people. People that don't know you. People that don't love you. People that don't pay no bills for you. Shit, I'm chilling in my folding chair, I say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm chilling in my folding chair, I say. Fuck that shit, bro. You ain't gonna drive me crazy, shit. Shit, you ain't gonna drive me crazy. I got my bitch in the kitchen and shit. She cooking. I got my, my cerveza, bro. I got some money. I got a little yayo yeah, yo too, shit. Keep it on the low, low. I pull it out for the party, though. I pull it out for the party, though. I don't do that shit every day, bro. Drew, I don't know how to let loose. <laughs> Y'all do all this hustle and bustle for people that don't even know you, fam. You do all this hustle and bustle for people that don't even know you, don't even care about you like that. <laughs> There's a message in this. There's a message in this, man. Slow down, bro. Slow down. There's no race here. Bro. The point of life is to chill with yourself, bro. You grab a girl. You grab some Latina, some black girl, something like that. Some cute black girl, brother. Some cute black girls out here, man. There's some cute ass black girls out here, bro. And you got yourself a black girl. Come sit next to me, bitch. <laughs> Come sit next to me and look at these stars, man. Come look at these stars. What you think of that? Hmm? You see that? What you think of that, baby? Slow down. You're doing too much. Slow down. Look at the look at the moon. What does the moon mean to you, bitch? <laughs> what does the moon mean to you, bitch? Huh? What does that move mean to you, bitch? Huh? <laughs> oh, it means something? What's it mean, huh? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Go deeper. Go deeper, baby. Go deeper. <laughs> oh, man, I had to go on a quick run for that. I had to go, <laughs> I had to go on a run. Y'all going crazy doing all this shit for nobody. These people don't care about you. You do all this for the social media. Nobody gives a fuck about you, bro. You sit on the unemployment line, you go to bankruptcy court, nobody coming with you, fam. Nobody coming with you. You lose your job. You lose your job. You, you go to the unemployment line in the bankruptcy court, nobody going with you, man. You get sick and you go in the hole, nobody going with you, family. <laughs> you get sick and you go in there in the crematorium or in the hole, you think people coming with you? Fuck no, nobody going with you, man. You better start thinking about yourself. You better start thinking about yourself. Don't be selfish, but think about yourself. Be simple. You don't need much to be happy. You need a lot to be happy. You a miserable bitch. Comprende? <laughs> really, that was the game right there. We don't... <laughs> We don't have to finish. This is it. That was the game. You need you need a lot to be happy. You miserable. You need a shrink, bitch. You need to call your mother or something. Make up with her. Make amends with her. She getting old. Your mama getting old, bro. You got too much pride in you. I made up with everybody, bro. I called Mexico. I told everybody. I'm sorry for what I did. I made, I, I made amends with Mexico, bro. I called up Mexico. I said, I'm one big sorry to Mexico. I told my people, I'm sorry. 
And now I got it off my chest, bro. That monkey off my back, bro. Get that monkey off your back, fam. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, by the way, man, I'm introducing the Hundo Club today. Shout out to the members of the Hundo Club. They know who they are. Brand new buttons for you have been created. So shout out to the Hundo Club, man. If they show up today, they're going to have a new button, a new experience when they support the champion game. So the Hundo Club, welcome to welcome aboard. We got our members and it's going to grow. The Hundo Club, man. Give back to this champion game. <laughs> All right, man. Somebody said, nah, fuck that. I ain't wasting my time. Fuck that. <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Cage. I feel you, bro. I ain't wasting my time, bro. Zero Light said, thinking about that is depressing. Okay. Look at Soul Sister, man. Look at her. Cracking up in the kitchen, bro. With a hairnet on, cooking and shit. That boy EO is funny as fuck, boy. Don't let me meet EO. Don't let me meet EO, boy. I'm going to give that boy a big ass hug. That's my, that's my dude, right? Don't let me meet EO. <laughs> Shout out to that girl, man. Shout out to her, man. Mem G, what's good, bro? $20. That's my guy. My man EO having fun and blessing the world um, at the same time. Thank you, man. Thank you. We got to talk. We gotta, I got to make sure I touch base with you, man. Been busy as shit. What does Bianca say with that Australian De Niro? I'm here for the accents. Do the Aussie. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> shit. All right, man. Let's get into it. Nobody wants to waste time. A few people said that they don't mind. I don't mind, Chico. I don't mind. I got more money than time, bro. I got more time than money, too. So just remember this, your actions tell the truth. So, you know, it, your actions will always tell the truth. Whether Whatever comes out of your mouth really doesn't matter. It's what you do that matters, okay? Slide number two, when to immediately cut off a woman? Understand this, she doesn't want you. If she's doing these things, she doesn't want you. She wants your attention, okay? So if, if you've ever experienced a woman doing any of these things, I promise you she don't like you like that, and that's okay. She probably don't even like herself much, and there's a sickness there. But so don't take it too personal. She might even like you, but you know, to to a varying degree. But if a woman does any of these, she doesn't like. I'd rather just say she doesn't like you guys because then you'll have false hope in your head and shit. You'll have some some. I don't want you to have any hope. If a woman does any of these things, she's gone. Okay, she's just gone. That's it. Okay. Number one. She hearts your comments on social media, but rarely communicates one-on-one. -on -one. This is obviously given you two have direct access. So maybe you guys have each other's phone number. You know, you guys have corresponded before. But you'll notice that an attention whore and a woman that doesn't like you like that, she will keep the correspondence up on social media. So if like you say something, she'll heart it. She might even give you like a very basic template response. Like, hey, you. Or like Kevin Samuels used to say, rest in peace. Hey, big head. She might give you a hey, big head. Shout out Kevin Samuels. Or she just might, might say, hey, you. Or she may say nothing. But she'll give you some template response that she gives everybody. And so this is an attention whore and you should not give her your time, your your money, really anything. If she if you notice that women on social media, they will correspond with you there. But when you reach out or you try to make plans or whatever, they don't have that same type of energy one on one that they do on social media. She must be immediately removed. Do y'all, do you guys get that? <laughs> uh, Rafael Cabrera, $5, working on being more efficient with my time. Good. It's very good. Thank you so much. All right, so number one, she'll correspond with you online because it's safer. But if you hit her up one-on-one, -on -one, 
tornado took her phone or some shit. <laughs> tornado took her phone. Her phone fell in Lake Michigan. Uh, <laughs> some bullshit. Some bullshit. My phone fell out of a helicopter ride. They were they were saving us. They were they came to the village to save us via helicopter. My shit fell in the in in in, uh, in the water. <laughs> Always some bullshit. Get rid of her. Yeah, law. Yeah, that's a big one. Law service. I'm in a building right now and I don't have service, bitch. You're a liar. Okay. You're a liar. We'll get on to that. Now, what 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 provoked this is that all my coaching sessions, because all the men that I'm coaching now and I'm pretty full, they're all going through the same shit. And I tell them exactly what to do, man. So what what motivated this broadcast is that many men are going through this right now. And so I'm here to tell you from a champion's point of view what to do. Immediately remove her. We don't have time for that. Next slide. She leaves your text on red for 24 hours or longer, knowing damn well that chick saw your text within five seconds. <laughs> okay? The guys will tell me like, yo, coach, man, you know, she responded 24 hours later or even she left me on red. Most chicks don't have their red notifications turned on and they do that because they're some shady ass bitches. They do that. Most people who don't have their red notifications turned on are shady. Now, you'll hear an excuse. Well, you know, I do this for business related purposes. You know, I don't want. Well, then get on your shit. Get on your shit then. My shit has been on red forever. And so when you text me and you have an iPhone, you will see I read it. And I will get back to you. Uh, if I'm not busy, I'll get back to you. I am always busy. But even if I have to, if I need a little time to get back to you, I'll let you know. Hey, I got your text. I'll be back. I'll be back with you in a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm handling something. And so remember, when you don't play games, men, you shoo away the women that do play games. Or you show her how not to play games and she levels up as a result of being around you. Because it begins and ends with the man. So. So remember that. The less you play games... Your behavior is a deterrent to women that do play games. If a woman is tired of playing games or she just doesn't, you know, she's whack, then she'll learn from how, from your consistency. She'll learn from you. And so one of two things will happen. If you're if you're if you're talking to a bull, your straightforward um, consistency will scare her off if she wants more bullshit. OK. However, if she's like tired of bullshit, but she just hasn't found a man to stop bullshitting, then you being a straightforward dude with that sex appeal um, will motivate her to want to mirror you. OK, so one of those two things will happen always. So just know that women see your text message in five seconds or less, 10 seconds or less. They're not out there acting like they don't have their phone. Dude, these women can't live without a phone. Most people today can't live without a phone. She saw your text. If she makes you wait or leaves you on red, bro, get rid of her, man. I'm serious. Get rid of her. She's a bullshitter. Next slide. She commits to dates with enthusiasm, then cancels the day of that girl is a con <laughs> okay because because attention whores part of their game is to keep you giving them attention okay that's part of the game so they will respond sometimes with enthusiasm which will actually um confuse you you'll sometimes be like oh man she was like excited there was some femininity there and um part of that is that she's conning you she wants you to believe that she's this delightful woman but then when the day of the day comes you go to confirm or whatever and her her grandmother fell out of the wheelchair and now she has to do surgery on her in the basement or some shit and it's always some excuse <laughs> so um if you notice a pattern with a female 
where she commits to a date and she even does it with some level of enthusiasm. It's not even just a date. It could be some sort of outing. Okay? But then as time gets closer to that date, she disappears. She distances herself. And then ultimately, she either forces you to cancel due to her inactivity of getting back to you, or she just simply cancels the day of. She's a con. Get rid of her. She's a con. Get rid of her. Okay? <laughs> it's very important. Don't waste your time, man. It's bad for your mental health to chase a woman like that. It's, it's bad for your mental health. She not a, she don't even take her she don't even take herself serious. That's something I said a while back. Why would you take a woman serious that doesn't even take herself serious? That's an automatic turnoff for a female if she's giving you bare minimum, yet you're giving her maximum, maximum attention, maximum invitations. You know, you're giving her a lot, she's giving you barely anything. Automatic turnoff because she knows I'm not giving this man anything to match. I'm not giving him anything to warrant these types of rewards. And so women intuitively know that when a woman, when a man tries to give me a lot, a lot of attention, wants to see me all the time, whatever, dinners, gifts, uh, lots of text messages, how are you, good morning, all this stuff, she knows that you like her too much, especially for nothing. She hasn't done anything for you to like her like that. Okay. That's why women chase guys that make them earn it. Exactly. Value for value. Shout out to Mr. Mabain. That's why they respect men that put him in position to earn it. Because she knows like, okay, this guy ain't going to give me nothing for nothing. For, he's got to give me. He's not giving me nothing for nothing. He's going to give me something for something. He's going to make me bring my best self forward. And low key, she really loves that. And at some point, it won't even be low key anymore. She'll actually convey to you how much she loves that you make her earn it. You understand? Derek, appreciate the 5D. This happened to me twice with a chick, and she says she was intimidated by me, so I cut her off. That can happen. That can that can happen. But in any case, if you're not up to our speed, then you can't. You're gonna you missed out on an opportunity. That can happen, uh, Derek. That's happened to me too. But if you if you know get over what's in your head, <laughs> you know read a self help book or some shit. You know go Google. You know how to stop being a you know scared and stuff but you know opportunities will 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 you'll be you will miss opportunities men and women both will miss opportunities if they're not ready and so in any case let them go let's move on to the next one okay so attention whores generally will send you unsolicited selfies now just know this she's making the rounds she didn't just think of you this morning and say, damn, I'm going to send him a, a, a pic of, you know, my spider lashes and, you know, my extensions or whatever, you know, uh, me laying in bed or whatever. Like an attention, you know what, will send you unsolicited photos. They'll just, they'll just float in. But just know this. She's just making the rounds. 20, 30, 40, if not more, guys saw that same picture. And right now she's charging her battery through us simps compliments and validation i never guys never at the onset of knowing somebody ever responded to a picture chicks would be asking me like did you get my picture i was like oh yeah <laughs> like damn all right like because you know attention horror even if she likes a dude it's not like she just stops all behavior it doesn't work that way it's a process and so even when a woman meets a guy that she really likes she'll still send him a picture to fish to see if he'll respond typically. And so I want you to know, unless um, you've asked for that picture, don't respond to it. A say absolutely nothing to it. And let her come in and wonder, hey, did you get my picture? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> and if she says, oh, you didn't say anything, say, well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for that photo. And say, uh, so, you know, you can come through if you want me to take a look at you. But uh, I didn't ask for that photo. So, And this is where you start training her. This is where respect comes in. Okay, okay. He's not like everybody else. But just remember that an attention whore is just going to float pictures to dudes. And she just makes her rounds. 
And it's because her battery is low. She feels inept and secure. And so it, it, the more validation, the more that battery goes up. And once she gets to a point of full, all the simps are gone until she needs you the next time. Okay. <laughs> it's facts, boy. Save your life, man. You get a picture like, damn, she likes me. <laughs> like, no, bro, she's making the rounds. Good question. Yes. Truth be told, my text game is is very different than, you know, other coaches out here. I'm not going to demean them. I have my own way of doing stuff. I don't send out memes, gifts. I don't do that because grown men don't do that. We don't send out gifts, memes. We don't use emojis at all. Anytime I see a grown man using emoji, I know he's got some softness in him somewhere. Like, chicks are dogging him out somewhere. I guarantee you. And if they're not dogging him out, it's a matter of time before they do. Because he acts too much like her. And so, it's not that we want to take these silly things away from women. These indirect forms of communication. We don't want to take them from women. But we don't want to participate either. It's just my coaching style. I'm not participating with that. I'm a grown man on some grown man shit and I'm going to text you with what I want to say and what I want to do. And either you're ready to come through and do it or you're not. And so if she sends you any solicited gifts, memes, stuff like that, um, I wouldn't respond to it. Personally, I would not make her come to me. Correct. I would make her come to me in a customized fashion. Not in some general way, but in a personalized way force her to get at you that way and if she doesn't know how to get at you that way then she misses out on i am maximus she misses out on mr mabane she misses out on my guy mikey your uncle guns grizzly adams and and everybody else yes no filler words either and 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 uh i'll, I'll do another text video but if you just search coach EO texting my my stuff will pop up Let me check out the likes real quick because we got uh, 175 watching right now. I want to make sure that our likes are on point. If not, um, you know, we got a lot to go here today. So if we don't have the likes where we need them to be, we got 101. Let's get to 150 and we'll continue, guys. Let's get up to 150 and we'll continue with the show. Do that for the champion game, man. Go ahead and get up to 150 for me. And... Uh, Somebody in the chat room, let me know when we're there. I do thank you for your participation. You guys already know we don't get them notifications sent out by YouTube, man. This content is controversial. So we got to we got to go the extra mile to get this content going. You know, you already know I'm on the blacklist <laughs> for real, for real. Let's just get it up to 150. And we'll continue, man. We got a great show to continue here.
Yo, shout out to the patient. <laughs> shout out to the patient. Let's get them likes up. Julio, that's my guy. Appreciate that, Tan family. Salute, salute. Shit, Mikey, what's up? <laughs> Man, next year, bro, next year. Ain't that the same story? It's the same story, man. But let's see what they can do with that with some help. Justin needs a help, man. They need to let them go and let them let them shine. You got a drink out of this motherfucker right here, boy. Super sleek. Show everybody that's that champion game that you're walking around with. Get it on that website, man. ChampionGameLifestyle.com where you can get both items. Four more likes and we'll get it going, man. Four more likes. man we did it appreciate that thank you so much thank you so much appreciate that I told you guys man YouTube ever since that strike that I got ever since the strike and it wasn't even my fault man it wasn't my fault we were we, were, we had very good momentum going at that time we were over 400,000 views a month, which is good for us. And um, it caused things to come to a halt. So we need all the help we can to get this message out, man. You know. Okay. Thank you very much. Johnny, my guy Johnny Cage, $10 participation. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue, please. Let's go. Turn that music down just a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little. All right. Okay. So we, our last slide, we were here. If she sends unsolicited selfies, 
Selfies especially don't respond to. But, you know, if she wants to send a gift or something like that, I, I wouldn't respond to it. And I teach my students not to respond to that because I know that she's just looking for attention. She's looking for relevance. She's also making the rounds. She sent that to multiple people. We are not her fan. She's going to come at us in a personalized way. She's going to come at us with some respect or she's not going to come at us. And so I know it's going to be tough for a lot of you. But if you get to this point, man, just leave her shit on red or just don't answer and she will get back to you fishing did you get it did you get my pick yeah i got it i got it but you know i didn't ask for that so when i ask you for something then you know then, then deliver it to me but you know i don't, I don't roll like that <laughs> so next slide please she lies to you i mean look when you catch a woman in a lie it's over it's over for me it's over i i no we are grown people you shouldn't lie to women either really you shouldn't lie to women because if you lie to her and she gets and you get caught up she it's grounds for dismissal she should not trust you and so i'm telling you guys this sno i i told sno i tell every female I, I, that i've interacted with i told sno i said one lie and you're done I'm just letting you know one act of betrayal, one lie, one moment of disrespect. I'm done because to me, relationships are they're optional to me. Now, you hear some soft dude. Oh, we're human and we're, we're born to interact and we're born to communicate and love each other and get your sympaths out of here. Get your <laughs> You got some simp in that heart. Even if you act bravado, you're you're a simp if you say some shit like that. Okay? And so one lie, one act of betrayal, one lie, you're done with the champion. You're done. It's as simple as that. Don't ever let a woman lie to you, disrespect you, dishonor you, and you take her back no no you're gone immediately if you can't just keep it real with a dude ladies you don't deserve to be there and men if she see here's the thing you can't be a dude that's like running game i got a video on why running game at some point is going to work against you okay running game at some point is going to backfire okay so Keeping it real, being sincere, being straightforward, and setting the tone as a man. We don't bullshit here. We let you know what it is. Again, it works great as a great deterrent, or it's going to force the woman to, to distance herself from dysfunctional dynamics and come at you with her best. In any case, whether you come at me with your best or you come at me with your worst, my life is still functioning at the champion level we're happy we're thriving and remember relationships with women are optional we don't have to have them now obviously at some point you're going to want to bust and 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 you know shouldn't be a problem for a for a guy that's on his shit and doing the absolute best he can to look his best be his best and um and be a be a value to society but what i mean is like relationships you know ongoing communication you know that's optional man we don't have to have that and so if a woman lies it's over i don't care how much you like her i don't care i don't care how much you attract it's over your balls come first your balls will always have to come first He said, well, women lie all the time. So, yeah, well, they don't you don't have to accept it. You, you don't have to accept it. And um, at some point, though, once you change yourself, you become less materialistic, less focused on outward appearance, 
more interested in character, more interested even in, in, in developing your own character, you'll notice that women like that will become less and less on your radar. And then you'll find that little diamond out there that isn't about the bullshit. So really, if, if all you see are liars, then, you know, something about you needs evaluation. And I'm speaking generally not to you in particular, Robert. But if all you see is liars, bullshitters and stuff like that. Now, obviously, you'll still see them. But if that's all you see, then something about you needs evaluation and transformation. And so once that happens, then you'll see the liar, but it won't even bother you. Like when I see liars, men and women both, I'm like, that's on them. That's on them. You got to reap the benefits. You got to experience the consequence of being that way. That's got nothing to do with me. I'm good. And then you're going to start to pick up. Okay, who's that? Who's that shorty sitting over there, modestly dressed, reading a book? Who is that? What is she about? Let's sit, let's see what that we'll see what's going on there. So I want you to understand that. And thank you for, you know, um, corresponding there. And that, and that is fair. Brian Harper, what's he got to say? All I have in this life is, is my weird and my balls. He, he meant my word. And that's true. Iconic line. Next slide. She asks for money. <laughs> And, and the females in the in the chat room are secretly watching are probably laughing and shit. She's like, oh, he, he's right. We always ask that weak simp for money. We'll never ask the dude that's laying major pipe. See, when you're laying pipe for a broad and she's heavily attracted to you, you're the last dude. She, she'd rather go pawn something than ask you. She'd rather go have a rummage sale. <laughs> She'll have a rummage sale, bro. Before she asks the dude that's laying major pipe, bro. But if a woman asks you for money, she sees you as a simp. She's an attention whore. Okay? Just know that right now. <laughs> a lot of guys are like, you know, I don't know how you're going to feel about that. But I'm telling you the truth. I've had women tell me I would never ask you for money. Never. I would be embarrassed to ask you for money. And that's because they like me too much. They respect me too much to come to me like that. Okay? And that's not to say that I would never break a woman off if she's good to me. Hey, listen, if a, if a woman works for me, my girl's working for me and, and, and bringing in revenue and respects me and doesn't dishonor me, and she's got something going on, yes, be a leader. Contribute to your girl. Contribute to your women. Yes, if she's contributing to you, Yes, take care of your woman. Okay? But I'm talking about if the chicks just ask you, hey, my, my refrigerator broke or whatever. Well, whoever. White girls do this, black girls do this, Hispanic girls do this, all girls do this. Shit, there's an Asian girl out there somewhere right now asking somebody for some money. <laughs> so, just know... Hey, appreciate that sick individuals. Follow us on Instagram, Coach EO underscore champion game to get that that game, that additional game. <laughs> Don't play yourself, man. Okay, and there's another thing. Some women they don't have to ask because the simp is just gonna give it to her because that's his value. He's already he's already distinguished. Okay, she don't like me that much. But I got some extra cash, so you know, I'll bring her I'll bring her a loaf of bread. <laughs> hold up he, he's bringing you more than that but i'm just trying to be funny yo i'll pick up bitch a loaf of bread real quick some fucking american cheese slices and shit yeah i'll come through with a loaf of bread and some cheese and some buttered ham there's a little the, the little packets of, you know those little packets of lunch meat he, he shows up with a little plastic bag he's like so sister what's up girl i got you a little something to have for breakfast you know I got you some cheese doodles, a loaf of bread, some buttered ham, and some and some American cheese slices. <laughs> got you some cheese doodles, some <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Go ahead and eat. Yeah, some crafting bag. Uh, go ahead and eat, baby. I don't even need to be here. 
He just leaves. He drops it off and leaves. She's like, he's the best simp in the world. He don't even stay. And and, and <laughs> yeah, and, and a box of, and a giant size, a family size of fruity pebbles, giant size. <laughs> She's like, I'll have to eat this tomorrow because I don't want bubble guts when I'm seeing my dude tonight when he's gonna smash. I'll eat. I'll eat this tomorrow. <laughs> Cause you know, girls don't be eating when she when she wants to see the guy she really likes. She don't eat. She's empty, bro. If she's got some dignity. So. Yeah, he brought he brought her some condoms. He's like, hey, baby, I know you. I know you. I, I know you don't like me that much, but can you save one for me? Can you save one? This is a 20 pack. Can you can you save one for me? <laughs> he just keeping it real with the chick. He's like, hey, I got you. I got you some um, some silicone, you know, because I know you said you dry up fast around me I, I i know you drive fast around me so i got you some silicone in case that's a problem elsewhere you feel me so i got you some silicone in case you dry up i know you dried in the desert with me but in case that's that's habitual then you know i got you some silicone and i got you a 24 case of rubbers just go ahead and save one for me <laughs> can you promise me that Can you promise me that? So <laughs> he asking for promises. Can you can you promise me to save me one rubber? Just one. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, they, they don't even get the name brand cereals, bro. They get that Aldi brand. That Centrilla. <laughs> he gave her the Centrilla. Shit, whole milk. And then we don't go on no diet, bro. It's like, it, you know, you know, you know, white people get like almond milk, soy milk, vanilla milk and shit. Fuck, you know, that almond. Shit, he's like whole milk. <laughs> <laughs> like you got the, he's just dropping off the whole milk. Like two gallons. <laughs> it's all dirty and shit from his fingerprint. Here you go, baby. Here you go. <laughs> oh man so where were we okay okay she asked for money man if a chick likes you she's not gonna ask you for money and if she's just in it for the attention and see and she saw you as a mark or something eventually something's gonna come up and she's gonna and again it's perceived simp so women only ask simps for money but a perceived simp so something you said or did some some something some way you looked at her and she saw a simp she saw a simp in your eyes or something you started stuttering and shit when you talked to her and she's like oh i got a simp on my hands christmas is coming christmas is coming i need dollar general gift cards <laughs> she just stayed with the dollar general gift card hey give me give me some gift cards to dollar general She buying Christmas trees and shit. <laughs> she buying Christmas trees. So anyway, guys, I wanted to add a little humor. But it, it does the moment a chick asks you for money, bro, it's time to let her go. Respect his left. She sees something in you that she is distinguished as soft, um, pushover, mark. And so um, remember, a chick that's getting good pipe she's heavily attracted you make her nervous and shit but in a good way she will not ask you for money you'll be last resort bro you'll be last resort I'm not saying she'll never ask but you'll be last bro <laughs> what she'll do is she'll do it indirect she'll be like can you come over for a second and you go over there's an eviction notice on the door and shit <laughs> She'd be like, can you do me a favor, uh, champion? I know you never, ever go to any woman's house, but can you just come here for a second? I'm like, nah. <laughs> nah, hell nah. I ain't going over there. Shit, I don't leave a king's chair. You crazy? 
And she's like, but they put this on my door today, champion. Uh, come work that shit off. How much you owe? Fifteen hundred. Better do fifteen hundred dollars worth of work. <laughs> hey, come work it off. You ain't getting it. You are not getting that money. Come do fifteen hundred worth of work, baby. And when she does that, I'll, I'll throw her that cash. But she's got to work for it. Again, given that she sees you as that dude already, not just like some chick that's never had sex with you. You know, she doesn't worship you. I'm talking about a woman who's in a bad situation. Also, also, don't date women that are in those positions. But at the same time, it's like, you know, hey, life happens. Sometimes things happen. There's some good girls out there that have just made some some foolish choices. And so with the right leadership, uh, with the right leadership, she could rise up and do better. So don't automatically eliminate a woman for, you know, having a rough patch. Now, if she has a series of rough patches, like a decade of, of this shit happening, fuck no. But, you know, let's just say that, that something happened. You, you do have to investigate a little bit to find out. Uh, but if this is like a series, like for the last 10 years, she's been living, you know, like this paycheck to paycheck, conning men, then hell no, don't give her nothing. Don't even see her. I'm talking about maybe that girl that just, you know, got let go from the job or something. And now she's kind of in panic mode. And if she if she's good to you, you can bring her in and put her on some game and help her rise up. OK, shout out to my guy, George Bruno in the house. The salt no silver, an absolutely necessary topic for men. No one established boundaries before you even get in the game. Good, good job. Ab absolutely. Check his channel out. I think his uh, morning show is coming up soon, if I'm not mistaken. Unless it started already, it may have started the the daybreak show. Let's continue. Next slide. Attention whores are dangerous. <laughs> you ever seen that look in a woman's eye before? <laughs> They're dangerous, man. When a woman is, is always after attention, I guarantee you all attention, you know what's, will eventually place themselves in danger to get that hit that dopamine hit in that response. So I'm just letting you know right now that that attention whores are dangerous. Um, they're sexually promiscuous. Um, they are dangerous. They bring home STDs. They put themselves in, in harm's way. Especially if, you know, the dude cut her off or, or dudes are cutting her off, they're hip to her game. Attention whores are very dangerous and they put themselves. I'm not really necessarily talking about danger to you, although that can happen if you ever go anywhere with them. But I'm talking about they're dangerous to themselves. Attention whores are dangerous to themselves. Thus, they will be dangerous to you as a byproduct. And so you want to stay far away from an attention whore because at some point she's going to do something somewhere to get that hit and, and unfortunately she's going to put herself in a situation where she'll pay a heavy a heavy price for it so i just want you to know let go of attention words because they're very dangerous they're very dangerous to themselves they're not necessarily trying to be dangerous to you but they just will be dangerous to you okay they're not like thinking like i want to put mr mabane and george bruno in danger although there's a few of those okay but I think it's just more reckless behavior. They're not thinking sensibly and logically. And so because they're in their feelings and they're so used to a certain way of getting that attention, getting sought after, what will destroy women is silence. That will destroy women, especially in today's era. But it'll destroy them for a time. And if guys stop simping and, 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 and stop kissing their asses, especially when they do nothing for them, Women will f be forced to look at that mirror. Guys aren't checking for me. Here's the problem, though. There's going to be too many simps to overpower. But, you know, if this happens at a, at a much higher rate, women will be, they'll have to challenge themselves. Or they go to the nut house. <laughs> One or the other. 
But I want you to know this, and if for anyone that's watching, she puts herself in harm's way being attention whore because at some point she's gonna send a picture off to the wrong dude. She's going to, um, you know, then then he might have her information. He cons her out of money and shit. Like a lot of things can happen when when you're desperate for a response. This is why I tell you guys to be desperate for nothing, like literally nothing. <laughs> Like, aim to be desperate for nothing. And women are often very desperate. Desperate for attention. You know, desperate for validation. And when they don't get that, they will go to extreme measures to get that. And unfortunately, men, women will put themselves in that dangerous predicament. You have to stay away from them. The next slide, they call you to pick them up drunk at the bar. <laughs> okay. Never pick a woman up drunk from the bar. I had this happen to me once with a girl I was actually having sex with. I was having sex with her. Um, we were like actively seeing each other, but I never went out with her. I never drank with her. Nothing. She hit me up one time and she was at, she got kicked out of a place because she was being obnoxious. Okay. She was a very, very nice person. And when she got drunk, she got obnoxious. So did I to some degree, which is why I stopped. One of the reasons. Plus, I wanted to live longer. <laughs> so, and be a coach that stands on his word. And so, you know, I want to make sure that I'm not, that what I teach is what I live. But at one time, I had a girl hit me up. She said, you know, like, hey, yo, can you, can you come pick me up? They just kicked me out of this place, you know. And I told her, no. I told her, no, I can't pick you up. I said, how'd you get there? And she said, well, I drove, but I'm not in a position to drive. I said, you'll have to Uber or ask somebody else. I'm not coming to get you. And now a lot of guys might think this is a way in. Like, oh, she's drunk. I could pick her up. Maybe, she, maybe she'll go with me right now. Like, why do you want a woman drunk, fam? Why do you want to why do you want a woman to give herself to you when she's impaired to that point? I don't even want to have sex with a woman that's drunk. I don't want you high. Now a little a little something like if a girl look at look, if a girl smokes a little bit, okay, as long as she's not inebriated and completely out of it fucking, you know, not even there. But you know, a little something okay, cool. She's used to it. She's got her little routine. Let her hit the one hitter or whatever. Okay. One drink or two drinks, whatever. You're not far gone. Still have your senses and your wit, you know, your wits, no problem. But why do you want to be with a girl who's drunk anyway? So absolutely not. You're putting yourself in danger. If a chick ever reaches out to you and says, can you pick me up? I'm stranded. Unfortunately, I cannot. Unfortunately, I cannot. We don't save women, man. I'm not saving you. Listen, <laughs> you shouldn't necessarily be saved. If you're making foolish decisions, now I get it. It depends. If she's not drunk and she's not at a bar, she's stranded at the train station or something. She has a flat tire. Okay, different story. Maybe we'll consider that. I'll send a bitch AAA. I'll be like, yeah, I'll send over. I'll send over somebody to help you out with that. Oh, you're not coming here? No, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I swear to God, I no. Nah, I'll send somebody over there. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'll send somebody over. I got you. But again, it depends. Like again, train station just coming from work, flat tire. She doesn't know how to change it. Maybe you go change it for her. I say you don't, and you just send somebody over there. Hey, I got you. Don't worry about it. Um, make sure you check your tires. All right, because you can't be calling me all the time and shit. For uh, you know, I, I ain't no Captain Save a Ho. <laughs> but I really do mean it. If she's drunk and I got kicked out of a her acting acting rebellious or whatever do not pick her up no way and get rid of her he's like damn coach yo is just brutal with this shit gotta be gotta be we don't let mess in our lives can't can't do it next slide <laughs> She reaches out mainly with complaints, problems, and gossip more than interested in seeing you, okay? 
See, guys confuse like, well, she does reach out to me, coach. That goes into a later slide. I don't care. Her purpose for reaching out to you is just to see, OK, I'm not losing my simp, am I? Her motivation is to keep you hooked. OK, to keep you tied to her. OK. And so you need to know this right now that if a woman reaches out to you, mainly to complain about her job, to complain about something, some sort of problem, gossip, everything other than asking you, George, how are you doing today? Is that beard looking luscious as ever? Can I come sit on that beard, George? If she's not doing that, she's got to go. We do not waste time. You know, if she's like Rambo, like, you know, I need to come see you, Rambo. You've been on my mind, Rambo. Uh, when can I come see you? That's a chick that's generally interested. So don't confuse just the chick that reaches out to talk to you about life and what's going on with the people in her life and her kids and or whatever. I, I, I'm coaching a guy now. I'm like, stop giving that woman attention, bro. She's doing everything but do what she needs to do, which is to be about her shit about you. And so I caution you. Watch out for these women that reach out with complaints, problems, gossip, everything other than how are you? I want to see your face. I got I got to see you. When can we make that happen? I'm not saying occasionally a woman can't call you with a question. That's it. That's if you're already smashing, you got a relationship forming. I'm not talking about necessarily a committed one, but every relationship is a relationship, casual relationship. It's, it's all types of relationships. And so you must understand if she reaches out generally with a complaint, problems, gossip, anything other than can I see you? I'm thinking about you. I miss you. I know you've been busy. Is there anything I can do to help you? Then her motivation is just to keep you hooked. And that's mainly it. Do you guys get that? You guys get that? Very important. Young men need to hear this. Middle-aged men need to hear this. There's guys in the 50s and 60s right now that are like, damn, I need to let go of uh, Brenda. I got to let go of Brenda. Brenda don't call me to talk about shit other than her family, her sick mother. Um, she just rescued a fucking cat, another cat. You know, she don't talk about nothing. I ain't trying to hear all that bullshit. Now, if we're fucking in shit, YouTube chill, there's a genuine relationship, then I do care about the things that are going on in your life. But if all you do is just keep, you're just reaching out to keep me hooked. This is a big one, guys. Stop. Get rid of her. Don't waste your time. I'd rather you be alone than to spend your time with, with Brenda. <laughs> yeah, Julio, I got all the 60-year-old guys because we do got some 60-year-old guys watching. And they're calling up Brenda right now. Brenda! Brenda, I'm tired of your shit. You don't do shit for me, bitch. It's over. And I'm blocking you. Take your ass to the bingo hall and find another chump. <laughs> Oh shit, I fucking snorted on that one. Damn. This shit is funny as hell. Brenda! It's over! You're stringing you're stringing me along, Brenda. Find yourself another chump. Goodbye. He hits it all hard and shit. Mm. Fuck her! Damn, A-A-E. -A -E. Get rid of that bitch, bro. Every, listen, listen, guys, listen. Every day you communicate with a bitch that ain't shit, you become less of a man. Okay? 
I want you to know, mentally and emotionally and everything, you're going to become less of a man. You shrink down. Every time you mess with a woman that you know that doesn't even like you like that, you just shrink down and you're just slowly dying, man. I really do mean you're just withering away. And the second, the moment you, you hit that switch, hopefully it's from a Coachio broadcast, the moment that you hit that switch, you're like, I'm done with this shit. I'm done with these ain't shit women. I'm done with that. And I'm done being, being ain't shit to myself. You start to grow. You start to rise up. You start to inflate. See, when you deal with people that aren't right, that don't, don't do right by you, they deflate you. You allow it, but you're deflating, man. Everything else in your life gets compromised. Your work your work goes down, your work, your workouts, your health goes down, your stress goes up, your finances begin to diminish. And so the second you get rid of this dead weight, these people that aren't doing nothing for you, you're going to start to inflate. You're going to get more handsome. You're going to get you're going to go shopping. You're going to buy a dope Jordan hoodie. I'm going to go to Philly and bring Jordan some uh George some champion game uh champion game hoodie. And you know, you just you will you'll start shopping. You know, you'll have more pep in your step. You'll respect yourself more. Julio, thank you for the 10, man. Coach killing it today and every day. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. And I got a bonus for you. I have a bonus for you. An attention whore is somebody also that will ask for your opinions, but she doesn't value your answers. She'll ask you as a way to just string you along some more, see what else she can extract, but she doesn't care about your answer. She doesn't actually value your answer. Versus, versus, a woman that is truly into a man and admires him, she will come humbly to a man and ask for counsel, wise counsel, and she will be all ears and she will apply what she's learned because she wants to make you proud. She wants to make you proud. And so just know this. Be on the lookout, guys. These attention whores that don't even like you, but they, 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 they extract you, they extract value from you due to your weakness. They'll ask you your opinions about stuff. Well, what do you think of this? And should I go to Spain first? I'm going on a world tour. I'm going to go on a world tour and suck 20 dicks. So, and none of them will be yours. But should I go to Spain first? And then, you know, then Italy? What should I do? And you're like... Uh, I've been to Spain before and I've been to Italy. I think you should stop here and stay. And, and I have a connection in Italy and maybe I could hook you up. Fuck out of here, bitch. I ain't doing shit for you. You too, chill. Like she will just ask you a bunch of questions, man. And she really don't even value your answers. <laughs> right? Isn't that right? This is what these motherfuckers do, bro. They don't do this shit to me. But I hear about it through my clients. I'm like, God, damn, we got to stop this shit. I'm going on a European tour. I'll be back in January. Blown the fuck out. And maybe I'll give you this leftover <laughs> roast beef sandwich. It's <laughs> fucking bitch. I'm serious, bro. Watch out for that woman that it can get. And you know, here's the thing. She may ask you questions and reap benefits from you. Let's say that you're a dude that works in the hotel industry or something. And because you're a simp, you offer her like free rooms and discounted rates and shit. Like, hey, if you're ever in, if you're ever in Dallas, you know, I got a connection there. I can give you a rate, bro. She'll, she'll take advantage of your rate and she'll suck a dick in there. YouTube chill. <laughs> But she ain't gonna suck anything. And so I just want you guys to be on the lookout for this, man. I'm protecting you. That watch out for that girl that just reaches out for you. She's looking to get, 
you know, she just wants your opinions, but she don't even really care about your opinion and she doesn't even really respect you. And, you know, I'll have guys tell me like, but coach, she reaches out to me. She's an attention whore family. She has to reach out to you. She has to suck off of you. She has to charge her battery with you. Let's rise up and get smart. And if you stick with Champion Game, man, that's exactly what will happen. Guys, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Leave a comment down below. It's my honor and privilege to give you this game. Tomorrow, we have a very, very large announcement, something that all of you will appreciate greatly. Pardon me. Hang on one second. I may have missed something. Did I miss something? Hang on one second. Hang on one second. I may have one more slide for you. I just looked at something. I may have one more slide for you. Hang on. We do. We, we have one more slide here. I knew something was missing. One more. I got you. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Where is that bad boy at? There we go. One more, guys. Don't leave yet. Again, let me just let you know, tomorrow morning we have a big announcement. Uh, it's my honor and privilege to, to talk to you about this, to present this to you. And so be there live tomorrow. You don't want to miss this. I believe it's at 9. nine thirty-five a.m. tomorrow. Shout out to Brian. He's a new member. Next slide. Bonus. Additional bonus. Understand that she gets hooked on every guy she she engages with. Now, before I continue, I'm talking about the guys that she's actually into. I'm not really talking about the simps. She has a different motivation for like the soft guys. She wants attention, money, resources, experiences. OK, but she'll never show you off in person. She'll never really talk about you. N not in any great detail. But I'm talking about the woman that actually actually does come and see you does um follow your lead there's still that woman out there that will do that but she this is habitual she gets hooked on every guy she sees and i want you guys to know that don't think you're special even if you get a woman's perceived submission sex she stalked 10 guys before you okay <laughs> This is really important. Central time, yes. Central. See, because sometimes guys will think like, oh, damn, I got it like that. No, fam. She did that to the last dude. And the dude before that and the dude before that. She stalked him, blew his phone up. She did all that shit. Okay? And you'll think that, you know, you got it going on like that. I'm not saying you don't have it going on. You might have it going on. But don't, don't take so serious what these women do they got to earn it on a consistent level i'm talking a long time and this still can shock you with some behavior three years down the road you could have a woman do everything right for three years and then something just falls something um from the dark comes to the light and on that third year you see something that's just so disparaging and it, and it, it actually breaks your heart as a man because you're like starting to buy into this bitch and you're like, and, and, I, and I'm just preparing you. 
be very careful with what you believe and what you see. It's not you so much, as Robert put it, it's that addictive personality, it's that rush that she's looking for. She needs therapy. It's not your job to, to provide her therapy. And so be careful not to think, oh, I got it like that, I got, I got my bitches in line. You know, I got a chick that's that's uh giving me everything I want. Well, she gave the she tried to give the last dude the same thing, the last dude the same thing, and the last dude the same thing. If you have a stalker, she stalks somebody else. I guarantee you, nobody just starts stalking. Very few. They've been stalking. Okay? They've been blowing dudes' phones up. They've been doing that. I'm not saying to every guy, because again, she has categories for men. She's got her simp, her providers, her beta males and all that shit. She's got her categories. But then she's got the category where the guy is cute, he, you know, he dicks her down, whatever. But she's had multiple men like that. Multiple. And so you think because she is on the program that she could be trusted. And I'm not telling you to walk through life full of mistrust but verify everything absolutely verify everything if they cannot if her truth <laughs> you know how women say it's my truth if her truth cannot be verified she has to be released you are a weak link you're not going to compromise my life and my program i've worked too hard for this guys Watch this video back. Share it with a young man. Share it with your uncle. You know your uncle don't got no game. <laughs> you know your daddy ain't got no game. Anyway, share it with a man. For the guys that do understand and they've been around the block a few times, they're all head nodding right now. Every single one of them are just head nodding, agreeing, fist bumping to the air. They're going to text me later. They've been through this shit. And for those of you that haven't been through this, you will go through it. At some point or another, you're going to meet with at least five of these things, if not all of them. And so you need to prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, prepare yourself for what we're dealing with out here. I do this because I care about you. I do this because it's a business, it is. But I do feel very good to give you this wisdom in this game because I know for those that are actively seeking to be better and to be and to enhance themselves this is going to help you tremendously and me knowing that I'm good I got, helping another man out other men thousands of men I should be doing that especially with the knowledge I have but hey value for value though I won't go on forever if um you know i got to see i got to see her return god bless all of you i truly do mean that take some time to show gratitude to your creator for everything and everyone that you have i do this frequently throughout the day i i'm so thankful for everything i have and everyone and so show gratitude it, it does tremendous things to your system to your body to express gratitude. You can go from a, a very stressful state to just stopping, slowing down from it and getting quiet and, 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 and looking around you and seeing who's there, who you still got and what you still have. And you become grateful in that moment. You'll be surprised like your cells begin to come alive and health is almost instantaneous for you. I will see all of you tomorrow. Big announcement. Be there.